excited. I'm gonna make my first pyramid. Um, I just read the book, Pyramid Power, and uh, I got the exact specifics here, which you need to make for your uh, Giza uh, size pyramids, supposedly following the golden mean. I bought one PVC pipe, which was uh, two meters long, which is 200 centimeters. And the, the specifics on the pyramid should be 10, 10 inch or 10 feet or 10 yards or 10 centimeters, whatever you want. 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 square on the bottom. And then going up should be 16.2. So I figured there's a 200 meter uh, one of these. 200 centimeters, sorry, that's two meters. So the only way I can cut it is actually multiplying 10 by uh, 1.5. So that gives me uh, 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter base. So I'm gonna make four 15 centimeter square. And then I, I multiply the uh, 16.2 by 1.5 and got the height of it. So it should be the exact height of the pyramid. Since it's all plastic, I'm gonna go ahead and put just plastic uh, fish, fishing wire through it to make it. So stay tuned, I'll be back and I'll show you how my pyramid looks. And I've tried to figure out the exact, uh, if you do them out of non-metallic material, it's supposed to be uh, north, not magnetic, uh, what they call true north. So I tried to figure out on Google today what exactly true north is, and I can't really totally figure out, but I'm going to try to get it as close to true north as I can get it when I face it. And I'm going to try experimenting the first time with some plants that I have that haven't been grown too well. Um, it's cold in Japan, I grow a lot of cactus. But some of my cactus don't survive well during the winter, so I'm gonna. A couple of them are almost dead, and a couple of them are uh, doing really well. So I'm gonna put this pyramid right next to the cactuses that aren't doing well and see if those come back to life, which is just an experiment. Um, I'm also gonna try some seeds that last year I tried to grow, and the seeds wouldn't grow, so I kept them another year. Uh, the rest of the seeds, I tried about 15 to 20 of them last year, they wouldn't grow. So I'm gonna try those other seeds. And let's see, maybe they'll miraculously start growing again, which is some of the results people have uh, said in terms of power they're able to do. So, stay tuned. I'll show you when I finish the pyramid. Okay. Okay, so this is the finished product. I decided, decided to ditch the, uh, the string. It wasn't really balancing well. Um, instead, I made it with uh, scotch tape, so you can see it's not perfectly balanced. Um, the top up here, it kind of, I kind of taped it the best I could. So this is just my experience, first time doing one. That's a 15 centimeter base. Oh, sorry, yeah, 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter. And then the height, what was it, 24.5, I do believe. It was the exact uh, 16 point. Uh, I forget what the exact measurement was. Let me let me open up my Kindle again. But the pole, this is what's left over after I used uh, two two meters. And the two meter pole at the hardware store was only about two dollars and fifty cents. I had to get them to cut it one, two, three, four, five, six, I think seven times, which ended up costing like about almost five dollars. So the whole pyramid cost me like eight dollars. So the exact specification says ten by sixteen point two. So I multiply 16 by 0.2 by 1.5, and I think it's that math. I think it came out to uh, 24.5, or thereabout. Yeah. So that's my pyramid. Um, I was thinking it was the size of Giza, but I think it's taller. So this is this must be the Russian model, which that uh, Dr. Gilad did most of the research on. So this is what I'm going to try it on. From this building, I think. Due north is about an angle like this, but I'm gonna go map it up again with Google Earth on my uh, thing at home. I'm gonna put cactuses in here, a few seeds in here, and put some water in here and charge up the water and feed the water to the cactus and the, and the best plants and see how that works. And I'll drink the water too. So stay tuned. We'll find out what amazing miracles happen. All right. Okay, I'm excited. I just got into the office and I left overnight and most of today. 
a little glass of tap water, a little cup of tap water. Just regular tap water from Nigata. And uh, there's a little filter on the faucet here, but it's kind of old. It's supposed to be changed every month. I think it's been changed in about a year. So it's not the greatest water. But I put it under my pyramid, little, my little PVC pipe pyramid, just to experiment what water will be like. I'm sure it won't taste any different, but uh, it's supposed to have health benefits. This is a very small pyramid. And I'm told the larger the pyramid is, the more beneficial it is. So let's try it out here. Here I go. I'm going to drink my water. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, it tastes like water. Uh, oh, I'm turning it into bionic, the bionic man. No, I'm just joking. So that's my first time tasting water out of a pyramid. Uh, I'll tell you the results later as it, I do more water like this and other tests on it, but this is just my first time. It doesn't taste any different, obviously. But actually, today is one of my most difficult days at my work, and uh, I teach one of the most difficult classes. So let's see if the kids are a little less, give me a little bit less of a headache than normal. Stay tuned. I'm going to put it next to my plant tonight, and we're going to see what it does to my plants. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's my pyramid. I am going to do a few experiments. I have, I've been harvesting some medicinal cactus for many years in Japan, and I've figured out how to do them without killing them. This is... Like the first one I started harvesting about 10 years ago. Um, I cut it here, harvested, it was, it was one long cactus like this, uh, about this, this tall, about this tall, and I cut it in half, and every time I cut it in half, it would split off into two, and then you can see this one, I, I'm right re about ready to harvest, because I cut off about from here up, and I did that last time on this one, and you can see where it's already starting to cut off in two. So that's how I figured out how to do it. But if you don't do it like that, it's just gonna be one long cactus like this. Well, that one's doing pretty well. But this one is not doing that well. Um, I had another one in here that wasn't doing that well and it kind of died off. So I'm thinking this one might be in that in the same category. It looks like it's kind of the colors falling off, it's starting to turn white. So I'm gonna experiment being this this pyramid to see if that possibly helps it. I'm also experimenting growing some seeds in here with other medicinal herbs. Um, my friend loaned me these seeds about a year ago and I tried planting about half of, uh, maybe about 10 or 20 of them last year and they didn't grow. So he thought, well, these seeds are really old. He thought maybe three or four years he's had these or more. So maybe that's why they didn't grow. So I'm going to try and experiment to see because with the experiments in they did in uh, Russia, with pyramid power, they were able to get fields that had supposedly been completely dead without any seeds to regrow back. So I'm gonna try that with these seeds. Maybe it'll help these seeds. So I'm gonna try a few different experiments. One is I'm gonna keep the pyramid on top of where I'm growing the seeds in here. Um, after a while, I might put this pyramid on either this one or this one, because this one's not doing too well either. What I found out is you can look at the color. This color down here is starting to get yellow. What that usually means with these cactuses is that it's getting too much water. Um, I found out first trying to grow a cactus in Japan, which gets really cold in the winter, is to not water the cactus at all the whole winter. And when you do that, it really starts growing really well. Um, if you do just water it once or twice, you don't want to put water directly in the cactus. You want to put water under the pot down here. So that makes the roots have to reach down and grab the water. That's the only thing. I would only do that once during the whole winter or maybe twice on the bottom. But being close to the window, there's a lot of uh, condensation around this area. So that might be why this one seems to be getting too much water. I haven't watered it all winter, but maybe just put some water down under the bottom of the bowl here, or at the bottom of the pot here. And it, uh, it still seems like it's getting too much water by the color here. Um, so if it's, if it's good, healthy, it should be this color, all green, and almost like uh, same color as I also harvest uh, aloe, the they call aloe, aloe, and it's about the same kind of uh, color and the same kind of like, it looks a little bit dry on the top, but it's, a, it's not really dry. That's usually what I think is all the best, and that's how this one's doing on the top, it's getting more dry up there, but it's kind of 
puts a little more moist down here. That's what I found it grows the best. So it's very little water, almost no water at all. In the summertime, I put a little water in the, the plant area, but very little. I mean, I, I would water the cactus about once every two or three months. That's about it. But luckily, I started muscle testing over the last two or three years, and I've got, uh, I realize I'm doing this whole sideways. That's gonna make the video all sideways. Sorry about that, guys. You guys have probably been kinking your neck looking at it sideways, and I don't know how to flip videos, so. I'll go back to normal way. Um, what was I going to say? I totally lost track there. Um, anyway, I'm going to do the experiments with my pyramid. I might take the pyramid and put it on top of this guy that looks like he's almost dying and uh, see if he grows back with the pyramid on top of it. For now, I'm going to try to do these seeds that didn't grow over here. And I'm going to keep the other seeds. I'll probably, probably put four or five seeds in here to grow and then I'll put the other seeds close to the pyramid. See if that helps these seeds at all and uh, then I'll try different experiments see how they go and I'll keep you guys posted um, that's it so look forward to the experiment I tried my water the other day I actually had a lot of energy yesterday so maybe that helped um, I got through the classes without getting a headache from all the crazy kids I teach and uh, I think that might have been the water so I'll try other experiments with water in my pyramid too but for now I'm going to try the seeds Alright, thanks a lot guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you make your own pyramids and try your own experiments.